Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Right. So today, uh, which is week eight, Thursday, we're going to do the last example on instantaneous center. Then we're going to move along to relative motion analysis, and we are going to look at acceleration. Just a quick reminder. Term test two we on November the 6th, 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. You can see three questions. And they are from homework four, five, and six. And it's going, I'm going to test you anything from lecture week five Tuesday up to relative motion analysis for acceleration. So while I'm teaching today, is going to be the last topic for your term test. OK, once this topic is over, the next one, we are going to look at forces in effect of the dynamic system. OK, we are not going to do acceleration anymore. We will look at forces, OK, but but it's still important to do what we are doing down here. OK, anyone, any questions so far? Are we OK? Uh, yes. Yeah, it can be from the homework. It can be from any examples I've given you. The term test question, 80%, you have seen it before. 20%, you have not seen it before. Are we clear? Okay, so the moral of the story is what? Focus on your what? On your homework and focus on my what? My lectures. Any examples that I do in my lectures is going to be important. Are we clear? Okay, any of you fail, I will come after you. You are we clear? Okay, that's I mean, only 20 you'll be surprised with 20% of the question, 80% of the question, like seen it before. Okay, right. So I'm going to start from the very beginning again. Okay, if the rod AB okay, is rotating with an angular velocity omega AB three radians per second, determine the angular velocity of the rod at the instant show. So for this question, it's ideal to use the instantaneous center method. Can anyone tell me why this is one question that is the best to use instantaneous center method? Anyone? Why is it instantaneous center? This is the best method to use for this question. To use instantaneous method, what are the two criteria? You need to know the what? Direction of the velocity vectors. Yes or no? Right? That's all we need to know is the velocity vector. So for this case, we are aware. Okay, so I'm going to do in green. Okay, and then I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste, and I'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees. Okay. If you have a protractor, you can do it. So we know that this is our direction of what? We know that this is the direction of our, is it still green? Yep, it's still green, Eugene. This is our direction of our, EB. Right? We know that this is the direction of our VB. Right? Right. So we know the direction of our velocity vector. This is our what? This is our hey. This is our VB. Right? It has to be perpendicular to member AB. Any idea why it has to be perpendicular to member AB? Because it's going to generate a, a, a what? It's going to generate a curve motion. Are we clear? Right? And the radius, the two feet will not change at all. Yes? Okay. So the next one is what we want to find is we're going to determine what is our omega CD. 
Okay. So this is the direction of omega CD because if you could visualize, right, omega AB is going to do an anticlockwise rotation. Omega CD will follow suit. Will also do a what? Anticlockwise rotation. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Hold on. If the member is pinned on one side. If the member is not pinned on one side, like, like over here, like the example that we did before, right? This example is not ideal to use what? The IC method. Yes or no? You have to use a combination because at point D, right? It can do whatever. Yes, we don't know the direction. Okay. Okay. So from here, we want to determine omega CD. Okay, so we can draw another line. Okay, I'm going to sketch another line here. Okay. So when I sketch that line, I also can project my direction of my VC. Okay. So I rotate by 90 degrees. So this orientation over here, this is my direction of my Okay, so for this case, this is the direction of my PC. Again, this is what? 90 degrees. Okay, so from here, we can immediately identify that over here, where, where, where the two 90 or 90 degrees from VB and 90 degrees from BC intersect, this is our instantaneous center. Okay, we know that's our instantaneous center. So the good thing to determine our instantaneous center, once we know where our instantaneous center, we can determine our what? Our VC. Okay. So now I'm going to I'm going to uh, write this out now. So what is the solution procedure? Okay. So the solution procedure is we uh, we can we need to determine right VC. So VC, oh no. Omega CD. So we need to determine Omega CD. Right? So to determine Omega CD by using VC is equal to Omega CD multiplied by the distance CD. Okay, we know that. That is straightforward. So over here, the unknown is our VC. Okay, VC is unknown. So we can determine a VC. Using the instantaneous center. Okay. So by by what what do I mean by that? We can determine VC. So we know that VC is equal to omega C to IC. Okay. And multiply by C IC. So what we don't know is the distance CIC for now. We don't know yet. Okay. So what we do know, right? So what 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 we do know is we can we can determine what? We can determine what is our VB. Oh sorry. VB is also equal to what? Omega B IC, right? and B to IC. So we don't know what is our B to IC. Okay. 
But now, knowing omega C, I C, more omega B, I C, we know that omega C, I C is equal to omega B, I C, and this is equal to omega B, C. Okay. Right. So with this, right, we don't know. Over here, I'm going to circle our unknown. Right. This we don't know. However, Omega B, I, C, we know B, B, right? We know B, B, we can determine what? Omega B, I, C, if and only if we know the distance, what? E, I, C, okay? So this is the solution procedure that we are going to take, okay? Okay, so let's, let's, so if you, you see a problem like this, you find over, overwhelming a bit, do what is most obvious first, okay? Don't don't like you know, uh, too complicated. Then you 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 stay down there, do nothing. Okay, don't do that. Okay, when problem comes, okay, I was like that before. I tend to what shut down. Don't. Okay, do what you can first, and then you can see the light. Are we clear? Okay, don't don't just stay down there, and start to panic. Most of the time when I see all of you writing your term test, your face are all blue. You forget to breathe. <laughs> so now we can determine VB. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to do this. Okay. So, I want you, so we can determine what is our VB. So VB is equal to omega AB uh, multiplied by the length AB. Okay. So this is equal to omega AB is 3 and AB is 2. So this give me a, a distance or a value of six feet per second okay so coming back to our equation now we know vb we don't know our what we don't know our bic and cic so the next thing we have to do we have to determine our cic bic distance bic let me write distance or not you guys like eugene what we're we talking about our distance. Oh, uh, I always have this phobia, you know, forget to record. OK, so we're going to have the distance. We are going to de determine the distance uh, BIC. And uh, CIC. Now, this is the only part that is a bit a bit uh, not 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 difficult. But you you require a bit of analysis, okay? A bit of analysis, not 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 difficult, okay? So I'm going to split the page into two. All right? Draw this bigger. So now I'm going to partition. Okay, so I'm going to. I'm going to, before I do partition, I'm going to sketch where the IC is. And we know that here to here. And then we know a distance from here to here. All right? So this is our, this point over here. There's our IC. So the first thing we do, do simple stuff first. So the anger. A, I, C, D is equal to 180 minus 45 minus by 60. Okay. So this will be equal to 180 minus 45 minus 60 is 75 degrees. So we know over here, this is 75. Because later on, we are going to use 
sine rule to determine the distance of BIC and CIC. So now we have to determine the distance. Okay. Then the other angle we don't know is this angle over here. We don't know. This angle over here, we don't know. Okay. So this is a very geometrical based uh, problem. Okay. So all you need to do, by the way, this is the worst that the homework can ever be. Okay. It cannot be any worse than that. Okay, so now you just divide the lines. Okay. And then you divide another line. Why I divide this way? Because those distance I can determine or we can determine. Okay, so A, B, C, D. I'm going to call this point E, point F, and point what? G. Okay. So this angle over here, 